In BIM 360 Build, there is a single and two reviewer RFI workflow. Today we will be going through the two reviewer RFI workflow. The creator will be the assistant project manager for the mechanical contractor. The manager will be the general contractor's project engineer. Reviewer 1 will be the architect. Lastly, Reviewer 2 will be the MEP engineer. Hey man, I just wanted to give you a heads up and let you know that I'm going to give you a markup having to deal with the sanitary lines that are running from the water closets and the restrooms on level 4. Is this something that you think we need to RFI or can we handle this one in-house? We definitely need to RFI this one. The sanitary lines from these toilets can't be run because there's a structural beam below. But it's not that big of a deal because if we switch to the water closets from being wall hung to floor mounted, then we'll be able to run the sanitary underneath and miss the beam. All right, send me the markup and I'll get started on writing the RFI. I'm sure the architect would rather have floor mounted water closets than to have to spend the time to redesign the whole bathroom. Plus, we'll be able to save on the carriers. 10-4 man, it's coming right down the pipe for you. The assistant project manager has the detailer's markup open on his screen. In BIM 360, the assistant project manager opens up the project management module and creates a new RFI. In this dialog, you can create a title, a question, a suggested answer for the RFI, and attach either a file from your computer or a file that is already in BIM 360. Once the assistant project manager enters in the location as well as the due date, the assistant project manager creates the RFI. From there, the assistant project manager must submit the RFI to the manager. The manager in this project is the general contractor's project engineer. The general contractor's project engineer is notified via email when an RFI has been assigned to him. From here, the general contractor's project engineer can review the question, as well as any attachments that might be attached to the RFI. This one will be a doozy. We're going to have to involve the architect and the plumbing engineer. This RFI is valid and it needs to be answered soon to meet the coordination schedule. I'll go ahead and send this to the architect and the engineer. The project engineer now gives the RFI a number, reviewer, a due date, and then assigns the distribution list for when the RFI is closed. The architect is notified via email when an RFI has been assigned to him. From there, the architect is able to go straight to BIM 360 and review the question as well as any attachments. This is unfortunate. I wanted all the fixtures in each bathroom to be the same, but you can't change the structure. The architect is now typing the suggested answer. From there, the architect will forward this on to reviewer 2, the MEP engineer. The MEP engineer gets notified via email when an RFI has been assigned to her. From there, she is able to go straight to BIM 360 and review the question as well as any attachments. This doesn't seem like a big deal. We can change these plumbing fixtures and plumb this way to avoid the structure. Once the MEP engineer issues the official response, the architect is notified via email. From there, the architect reviews the official response and then submits to the RFI manager, the project engineer. The project engineer is notified via email when the RFI has been answered. From there, the project engineer can review the answer. Oh, this is great. Now that I have the answers back from the plumbing engineer, it's exactly what our mechanical contractor is asking for. I'll go ahead and distribute this to the relevant parties. The project engineer is able to add a comment to go along with the closed RFI, such as please proceed with ordering these floor mounted fixtures. Here you can see all of the RFIs that are associated with the project. Once an RFI has been closed, you can go in and see everything that has to do with that RFI, including the question, the answer, any attachments that were included with the RFI, as well as all of the activity. So when the RFI was opened, all the way to when the RFI was closed. The AE accepted your solution, thank goodness, because redesigning would have disrupted our coordination schedule and ultimately our project schedule. 
Sounds great. Our detailer will get this one drawn up and we will review how this looks in the model together in the upcoming coordination meeting. Just make sure you pick up the change and order floor mounted fixtures. I'd hate to get to the point in the project where we're installing fixtures and we don't have the right stuff. This change is already noted in our fixture schedule. No need to worry. Thank you for watching Applied Software's BIM 360 RFI workflow video.